the method concentrates on transformation, growth, and strengths rather than pathologies. Psychodrama is magic. Wow. Everyone in the psychodramatic session is crazy. <laughs> it's not just a method, it's more like a lifestyle for many people. Fact. Acting skills are unnecessary. Hi everyone, I'm Anna Bobikova. Welcome back to Action Explorations channel. Channel on psychodrama and action methods for clinicians, educators and coaches. We're not talking here, we are acting. What is important for me to say here? I have additionally the platform called Action Explorations Education where you can find video courses, fantastic quality of the courses, which you can watch in your pace and learn that particular psychodrama techniques that you can utilize in your work. Also, all the hours there are, you can utilize for professional psychodrama certification. Also, you can find in the description box below the video, the link to the structured page on professional free psychodrama videos that are on this channel, but it's very hard to find the structured library of them. So see the description box. So, psychodrama myths. Let's go. Myth one, psychodrama is magic. Wow! It's hard to explain how it works, but people magically get healed. Fact, contrary to belief in magic, psychodrama is not mystical. It is an effective therapeutic method backed by psychological principles. And yes, it genuinely works. Deep transformations can occur even within a single session, showcasing its efficacy. Myth 2. Psychodrama gone wrong. So, my friend's friend will call him show and tell. Once tried psychodrama therapy session out. Result? His wife was so unimpressed, she made a swift exit. And guess what? Show and tell decided to drown his sorrows. But things escalated. Let's just say he's now on the other side of the drama. Moral of the story. Proceed with caution to psychodrama session. Fact. Psychodrama is just as any other therapeutic method with its own distinct characteristics. Negative life events following a session don't have correlation with the specific psychodrama experience. Sometimes might. Assessing what happened in each particular case is essential for any therapeutic interventions. The variety of psychotherapeutic methods is designed precisely to help individuals find the most effective approach to them. Myth 3. Psychodrama is all about people randomly playing something without a structure. Fact. Psychodrama follows a clear structure with the three phases. Warm-up, action, sharing. Myth 4. It is unclear how much time one psychodrama session takes. Fact. Psychodramatic sessions have a defined time structure known in advance. Sessions typically last 45-50 minutes, 1 hour, 2 hours, or 2.5 hours, with a full drama included in sessions lasting from 2 hours. The shortest psychodramatic intervention can take about 2 minutes action, such a psychodramatic gift. I'll show you right now my psychodramatic gift to you so you understand. So to my dear viewers, I am giving you this very, very, very nice two little balls and they look like eyes and they have the traits of eyes. So when you can put them in like this, during watching my videos, you can see all the beauty and really, really understand how psychodrama is awesome. So please take my gift and it can take another part would be you are taking this gift on your side of the screen. 
and you can try it. You can put it into your eyes like this and you can say something back to me. Okay, this is just an idea. And psychodramatic vignettes can take about 10 to 15 minutes, which are very powerful. Myth five. Everyone in the psychodramatic session is crazy. Fact. While some individuals might find it uncomfortable or overwhelming, discomfort can arise in any therapeutic modalities. It is part of the therapeutic process and moments of discomfort can be discussed during the session. Well, I remember myself, my first psychodramatic session, it did look like for me that it is a bunch of crazy people and it is not true. <laughs> You just work through that, <laughs> work through, through your perception. How about you, psychodramatists? Please share in the comments. Myth six, you have to be a little psycho or have drama in your life for psychodrama to be effective. If I perceive myself as normal, this approach won't be suitable or effective for me. Fact, psychodrama is used for a wide range of tasks, both in non-clinical coaching, and in clinical setting, such as psychiatric clinics dealing with dual diagnosis like substance use and schizophrenia. Myth 7. It can only be done in the group. It is not an individual method. Fact. Psychodrama is effectively utilized in both group and individual setting. Myth 8. Psychodrama is limited to use only in psychotherapy. Fact. Psychodrama is used in coaching, life, business, specialized areas like dating, shopping, wellness, supervision, or teaching children, adolescents, and adults, and in various settings like K-12 system and colleges. Psychodrama extends beyond therapy. It becomes a lifestyle, the way of life that individuals can incorporate in self-help practices. My colleagues, counselors, therapists that use psychodrama in their work share that they use psychodrama in their personal life. For instance, I don't know, conflict, and they have conflict, and then they use internal role reversal with the person they are in conflict with. They role reverse with this person they step into their shoes and they share that this helps. There is variety of wide variety of how you can utilize it. It's not just a method, it's more like a lifestyle for many people. Myth nine, I have to work on my issue or concern if I join a psychodramatic session. Fact, the group collectively selects the protagonist. Protagonist is an individual whose issue is addressed at this particular session. So actually it is the client for this session who work is going to be done. This is the person whose psychodrama is going to be enacted today. So the protagonist is the representation of the group for the group concern for today session. Occasionally makes the director choice who is going to be a protagonist today but it happens very rarely in very particular situations. By the way, if you'd like me to make the video about director choices, please let me know in the comments. So what does it all mean? If you are joining first time the psychodramatic session and your goal is that you will have your issue be worked on today, it's very big chance that it's not going to happen at the group session. Because only like, for instance, there are seven people in the group and only one person will be chosen. So if you have something urgent, it's better to address it in the individual session. And when you are participating ongoing psychodrama group, then director already know the group and he or she makes sure that each participant have their concerns addressed during the sessions. Ten. Group members will never choose me with my concern for psychodrama. My issues seem to be insignificant compared to others. Fact, multi-session groups are organized 
to ensure that the majority of participants have a chance to be the protagonist. Myth 11. Group sessions focus solely on healing one participant's specific issue. Fact. The session is structured in a way that allows each participant to find the work done directly related to their experience. Everyone discovers their healing element in each session. Frequently, participants realize that another person's drama, sometimes originally perceived as unrelated, actually holds direct relevance to their own story. At the session's conclusion, there is always a sharing segment, providing each individual with the opportunity to express their feelings and reflect on how this experience resonates with them. Considered a therapeutic component for every group participant. Myth 12. To join a psychodramatic group, I need excellent acting skills. Fact. Acting skills are unnecessary. The goal of psychodramatic session is healing and transformation, not theatrical performance. Myth 13. Psychodrama concentrates too much on negative aspects and childhood trauma. Fact. Until 1990s, there weren't well-established models for safely addressing trauma. Consequently, clients were often re-traumatized when sessions delved brutally into that specific traumatic incident. In the 1990s, safe trauma work models emerged, now utilized in psychodrama. Overall, the method concentrates on transformation, growth, and strengths rather than pathologies. Myth 14. Participating in psychodrama group sessions will offer me a variety of roles. Fact. Frequently, group members might choose you for the roles based on perceived similarities. You remind them of someone, and usually it is one kind of stereotype. For instance, you are a mother, you are a good mother, or you are a distant mother, you are a warm mother, or you are a cold mother, and something around this role. This process is therapeutically very valuable, so don't be discouraged when you are getting chosen to all the time to the similar roles, because it reveals your symbolic identity and it provides you the opportunity for personal growth to expand your role repertoire. By the way, about role repertoire, see the videos role theory. And our guest today is Kathy Nugent. Myth 15. It is either very easy or difficult to become a psychodramatist. Fact. Many professionals integrate psychodrama elements in their work without becoming certified psychodramatist. To become a certified psychodramatist, a certification process lasting several years is required. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Namaste.